What's happening guys? Back to episode two of Legs. Again, just to reiterate, this whole episode or series is merely for advice and form tips. Uh, so you can pretty much potentially enhance and maximize every single one of your workouts and exercises. So again, you can pretty much pick and choose any exercise you wish to include into any one of your workouts, whether it be full body, two day, three day, four day, even five day split. However, this series is thrown together with a four day split, so chest and tries, back and buys, legs, and then shoulders. Now throughout everything, I'm trying not to uh, overlap any exercises or do any exercises twice throughout the entire series. Uh, so fresh exercises and all of which are going to be having me voice over and give you form tips and advice uh, to really maximize that exercise and just to make sure you get it right. Because at the end of the day, we need good form to increase uh, not only our strength, discipline, and everything else. Again, to maximize every single workout, which is what we want. All right, let's hit the gym. Starting off with a very basic, yet really, really handy uh, exercise to not only build up your strength, but really focus on the mind and muscle connection. Uh, and it's just good for some heavy ass training to build up that strength willpower and all. Alright, so as you can see I've got my feet in a particular position. Now the positioning of your feet is going to matter and it's going to come down to what you want to work more so. So the lower your legs or feet on the platform, the more quads. The higher they are, the more hamstrings. Uh, as per usual, wherever you feel most comfortable in terms of width, so probably around hips apart or wider, just get the comfort or feel that you wish. Now we're looking for about 90 degrees with the knees as you would with a squat, okay? So depth is also what we're looking for. We don't want these half ass reps unless you're just looking for kind of quad lockouts, but even then you shouldn't be going too heavy. Uh, usually rule of thumbs, two seconds up, two seconds down, and try not to lock out the knees because if you do start fatiguing and the legs want to go the other way, I'm sure we've all seen those bad videos that we wish not to happen, aka snapping the legs. Alright, easy one if your gym's got this, if not, come to hammer. We got a sled. Now you can put up as much weight as you want. All I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep the working time uh, under a minute. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I get around 40 to 50 seconds here. So I'm loading it up. Pretty sure I got about 180, but whatever that is for you. So I'm still sticking within the hypertrophy range. Now the thing with the sled, depending on what design your sled has, uh, I'm going... Uh, relatively high it's going to make it a tiny bit easier uh, and it's also going to give me the ability to grip on the ground as I'm pushing myself into the floor versus if I went lighter and lower it would almost be just as hard I'm just using a few different muscles but predominantly we're working the quads on this one uh, and a lot of the glutes yeah, it'll get your calves firing up as well just because of that angle uh, it's just got that constant isometric tension as you can see, I'm changing around uh, either with my elbows bent, kind of like a scrum position, or I've got them completely straight. Uh, this is when I start actually fatiguing a little more. Uh, I just found that straight's a little harder. Sorry, straight's a little easier. But totally up to you with what you want to do. I mean, we're not trying to work our shoulders and stuff. All I'm trying to get out is uh, the leg workout. This is a leg workout after all. As you can see, I'm probably fatiguing. The thing that you want to keep an eye on as well is where your feet are traveling. Try not to cross them over. Just try to think of the most natural position where your feet would be even with a squat or different leg exercise. Next exercise is a front barbell squat. So this is actually positioned on your shoulders. It's nice uh, and close to your neck. This can be quite uncomfortable if the flexibility in your forearms aren't that good. Now what I'm doing here, uh, my forearms can be, or elbows can be definitely a lot higher than they are now. Uh, so I'm still working on my forearm flexibility, that's why they're down at the moment. But as you can see, it looks like a bit of an awkward position and it can be if your forearms are quite tight. Now worst case, you can actually just rest the bar on your shoulders and then cross over, kind of like an X, just to hold the bar in a nice comfy position. The way I've got it here is it's keeping the bar back uh, but at the same time, it's actually giving me uh, more tension to want to hold my spine in a neutral position. All right, So this is what you want to be focusing on. If you could imagine laying down on the floor, you want to suck your belly button to your spine and really plant your lumbar, which is the lower section of your spine, to the floor. Now this is the same position that you want 
uh, with pretty much almost any exercise, but it's going to be a lot more crucial when you've got an exercise like this, uh, when you've got load pulling you forward. All right, so it's really crucial for your back. Now, when you get to the top, I want you to think of sticking your glutes underneath your tummy, but still keeping that spine neutral. All right, don't overcompensate and really rock back so that your hips are, go past or under your body. But that is the front squat. Now, over to a really simple one, just a wall sit. As you can see, my feet are about hips apart. You can change this wherever you'd like, uh, but this exercise is primarily working the quads here. A lot of pressure going forward. Uh, my legs feel kind of toast already, uh, so the burn is real. But what we're looking for is a 90 degree angle with the knees and 90 degrees if you can with your hips, but it really isn't gonna matter because wherever your upper body is, there's definitely weight. Uh, sometimes what happens is if you've got your back like this, uh, you can actually lean on more of your upper back and your hips come off. That's going to cause lower back tension. That's not what we want. As well, like I just pointed to the my heels, you want to dig your heels in and almost pick up your toes. That's going to direct that tension straight to the quads, which is what we want as well. Really simple and basic one. Just try hold that for 30 seconds. The next one is a good morning. As you can see, I'm going to keep my legs straight. And as you come up, good morning. So we've got the bar on the shoulders, just like a back squat. This is a really crucial one. If you've got tight shoulders or tight glutes, or even a tight back for that matter, you're going to find that your back wants to arch in. All right? We want to avoid this. Just like I said with uh, the exercise before, we want to pull that belly button to your spine, get that uh, lumbar spine, the lower section of your spine, nice and neutral or flat, as if you're laying down on the floor. Now I'm increasing the pace just a little bit, I'm quite used to this exercise, but I highly, highly, highly advise going really slow, a lot slower than this, so about two to three seconds. Uh, and you want to keep that barbell, that weight as far above your feet as you can. You don't want to literally rock forward, otherwise all that pressure is going to go straight to your lower back. All right, so it's primarily a hamstring exercise. All right, nice and simple one, our leg extensions on the machine. Try to get your feet about hips apart, so not very wide. And same again, two seconds up, two seconds down. You want to pull your glutes or pull your whole body to the chair as well, just in case it feels like you're lifting off. All right, and try to get that full range as well, not letting the weight stack hit. Next one's single leg curls on the machine. So lying down with this one, you can even do that with another machine if it's seated. Just got to assess the machine if it's actually uh, applicable for it. So if the machine's not getting in the way while you do it single leg, then go for it. So as for this one, I can totally do it. And the good thing about this is I can actually spot my one leg with the other one. All right? So the tension with that's actually doing the work or the load, I can just ease it up by uh, leg raising the other leg just to assist. Now you want your knees in line with the pivoting point of the machine. As you can see where it pivots on the machine, that's where I want my knees in line with. All right? So it's actually coinciding uh, with the same motion as my knee. All right? That's the point of this machine. Now what we're doing is pulling that heel as close as we can to your glutes or your bum or backside. Really big squeeze. Start off with two seconds up, two seconds down. And then as you start fatiguing, it's almost like a self spot, using that momentum to your side or to your aid to get it up. Lucky last, like I said at the start, it's a very simple routine, uh, but very effective at the same time. Starting off with just body weight carb raises. Just try to find some steps or an elevated surface. And all you need to do is let that heel sink right down. Get a nice big stretch on your heel. And then go for a nice big raise at the same time. Or on the other end, should I say. Uh, and get that nice big squeeze. All the tension going through the calf. Now the good thing about this is I'm actually somehow using my other foot just to pull myself up. As funny as it seems because you've got that weight on your foot, so it's like you've got no aid, uh, but it does work. Very effective one, again, two seconds up, two seconds down, and you may speed it up at the end if you want, uh, just to get that aid from the momentum. And that is it, guys. Very basic, but very, very effective routine. As I said, uh, you can either pick and choose the exercises just for their form and advice uh, on techniques, or you can pretty much use this entire workout, which is right here. So I'd advise you just to screenshot it and utilize it next time you hit the gym. Till the next video, guys. I'll see you then. Uh,